Hello viewers, here we will discuss about visual glide slope indicator. Visual glide slope indicator ensures safety by providing a visual glide path which clears all obstructions in the flight final approach area. The visual glide slope indicator uses color coded visual glide path using a system of lights positioned near the touchdown point. It provides optimum decent guidance for landing and minimizes the possibility of undershooting or overshooting the designated touchdown area. Once the principle and color code of the lighting system are understood, flying the visual glide slope indicator is a simple matter of observing the light's color and adjusting the airplane's rate of descent to stay on the visual glide slope. A visual glide slope indicator system shall be provided to serve the approach to a runway. The standard visual glide slope indicator system shall consist of the any one of the following. VASI visual approach slope indicator, AVASI abbreviated visual approach slope indicator system, PAPI Precision Approach Path Indicator, a PAPI Abbreviated Precision Approach Path Indicator. The T vases consist of 20 lights with 10 placed either side of the runway center line in the form of two wing bars. Each of four lights with bisecting longitudinal line of six lights. The T VASIS system provides approach slope guidance by symbolic means as distinct from color differentiation. Colors being used only to provide a conspicuous warning signal when an approach is made which crossly undershoots the correct approach slope. The system is of variable intensity and will be displayed for use by both day and night. It is designed for use over ranges of at least 4 miles. The symbolic nature of the system is such that it may be linked to the instrument landing system glide path indicator. The pilot on glide slope will see a horizontal line of 4 white lights, which we have shown in the middle. When above the slope, the pilot will see an inverted white T with one, two or three white fly down lights visible. The higher the aircraft is above the correct slope, the more fly down lights are visible. When below the correct approach slope, the pilot will see a white T. And the lower the aircraft is below the correct slope, the more fly up lights will be visible. Visual glide slope indicators are located on the left side of some runways to provide the pilot with the glide path information that can be used for day or night approaches. Normal glide path angles are 3 degrees. Angles at some locations may be as high as 4.5 degrees for obstacle clearance. Descent using visual glide slope indicator should not be initiated until the aircraft is visually aligned with the extended runway center line. The basic principle of the visual approach slope indicator system is that of color differentiation between red and white. This is two bar WASI system. If you observe red over red, you are dead. So it means you are below approach slope. Red over white, you are all right on correct approach slope. 
white over white you will fly all night means you are above approach slope this is three bar wasi system if you observe all three red bars you are below approach slope if you observe two red bars over white bar you are on correct approach slope if you observe one red bar over two white bars you are high you are above the approach slope this is p wasi system when above the slope the pilot will see an inverted white t with one two or three white fly down lights visible the higher the aircraft is above the correct slope the more fly down lights are visible when below the correct approach slope the pilot will see a white t and the lower the aircraft is below the correct slope the more fly up lights will be visible the pilot on glide slope will see a horizontal line of four white lights this is papi precision approach path indicator papi shall consist of a wing bar of four sharp transition multi lamp units equally spaced the spacing between lamp is 9 meter and the innermost lamp is placed 15 meter from the runway edge if above the correct approach slope the pilot will see the light closest to the runway is red and the other three lights are white if further above the correct slope the pilot will see all lights as white on the correct approach slope the pilot will see the two lights closest to the runway as red and two lights farthest from the runway as white if below the correct approach slope the pilot will see the three lights closest to the runway as red and the farthest as white if well below the correct approach slope the pilot will see four red lights minimum eye height over threshold meht it is composed of two values ewh which is the eye to wheel height plus wth which is wheel to threshold height the lowest point where papi signal is useful is called meht minimum eye height over threshold is included in the aip for the particular runway for the critical aircraft the declared meht makes assumptions regarding the position of the pilot's eyes and the eyeless aerial of the aircraft Thank <laughs> you.